Hey there, Math Hoppers. A question came in after our last division problem that said, how can we have two expressions that have the same quotient, so the same answer to a division problem, and the same remainder, and not be equal to each other? So basically, how can you have two division problems that have the same quotient, same remainder, and not be equal to each other? And it's possible. This question might just be worded weirdly. So let's show you how this is possible. Let's take the problem we just did in a previous video. We just did 2,625 divided by 32, and we got 82 remainder 1. So what that means is we wanted to know how many times 32 went into 2,625. We found out it went in 82 times without going over, but there was one left over. We had a remainder of 1. So what that means is 32 does not go into 2,625 evenly. Because there was only one left over, that means 32 went evenly into 2,624, right? So all we have to do is come up with another problem that has that same exact answer that is different. And that's not too bad to do. Let's show you how. Let's say, let's start multiplying. We know that we want 82 to be the quotient and we want one as the remainder. So let's do 82 times five. Five's easy to multiply. So 82 times five, five times two is 10. So bring down the zero, carry the one. Eight times five is 40, plus one is 41, and that makes 410. So I know that five goes into 410 evenly, 82 times, and that 82 goes into 410 evenly five times. Therefore, I don't want just a quotient of 82. I want a remainder of one. So I ask you this, if I did 411 and I asked you to divide that by five, would it go in evenly? And you might be thinking, nope, it won't because I know five times 82 is 410. So it's gonna be one short. And that's exactly how we're going to do this. So let's do that exact question. Let's, man, let's maybe give ourselves another screen here, right? Okay. So let's do 411 and let's divide it by five and see what happens. So five, remember, can't go into four because it's bigger than four, can go into 40. And we know it goes in eight times. Eight times five is 40. We have one left over. We bring down our one right here. Five goes into 11 two times because remember five times two is 10. So two times five is 10, we subtract. Lo and behold, we have one left over. So we have 82 remainder one, just like our last problem. But we kind of knew this. We knew 82 times five was 410. So if we increased 410 by one, we'd have 82 remainder one. If we increased it by two, if we said 412, we'd have 82 remainder two. So that's how you could have the same exact quotient and the same exact remainder and not have anywhere near the same problem. I hope that helped. If it didn't, pop a question in the comment section. Till next time, take it easy.